Hello and welcome to this video where I will be demonstrating the Javelin J310C ID card printer to you. Uh, this particular model comes with enough ribbon to print between 15 and 25 cards. Um, so it's mostly been used but it does have some ribbon left. Um, it's in full working order. It comes with the parallel cable, it comes with the mains cable, it comes with the um, Windows XP 9598 and NT drivers and it also comes with the full manual and quick start guide on CD and um, it also comes with um, a couple of templates and example files that you can open up and, uh, and use to print off your own ID cards or you can simply use it as a template for you to design your own cards so the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to set up the software which is like the drivers that you need to tell the PC that the printer is attached so what I've got here is I've got Windows XP running on this very old um, 11 or 12 year old PC okay you cannot run the software on anything newer than Windows XP so it won't work on Vista Windows 7 Windows 8, Windows 10, it's not going to work on anything. So you need to get it installed on Windows 95, 98, NT or XP. This is the CD-ROM that I've created for you, uh, which you put into the CD-ROM drive of your Windows XP or whichever version of Windows I mentioned before that you have. Computer, so wait for the... CD symbol to appear on the desktop or wait for a window to pop up asking you what you want to do with the contents of the disk which is what it's doing here it's saying what do I want to do and uh, it's a very slow computer because I've had to use a very old machine uh, one which has got an old copy of Windows XP on it so that, so that I can actually attach it to the printer and get the printer to work so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually just going to close this box down and I'm going to double click on my computer which is an icon on the desktop and I'm going to double click on the CD-ROM drive okay now I'll just bring the camera in so you can see this better okay so hopefully this is a slightly better view for you so what I've done is um, what you can see here is the contents of the CD and there's a folder on the CD called Javelin 310C so the first thing I'm going to do is drag this onto the desktop to copy it across over to the over to the computer and the only reason for doing this is that it's just faster to run the files directly off of the computer's hard drive rather than off, off of the CD so now I can close that window down and this is the folder right here and just going to double click it to open it and this is the contents of what was on the, on the CD now you don't have to worry about a few of the folders here the only ones that you're going to be interested is, in is the, um, the template for the cards which you don't have to use those, you can use your own of course um, the folder that contains the manuals which as you can see you've got the quick, quick start guide and the full manual um, and basically the setup program so the first thing you need to do in, to install the drivers is double click on setup.exe just like this and it's saying we're going to select the printer which is the Javelin J310 and click next and now it's just going to scan the ports on the PC it's basically making sure that we have a parallel port and it will also look for any USB ports that the computer has. Now don't worry about that you cannot use this particular card printer with a USB port, it must be used with a parallel port. Okay, so it's done and it says now connect and power on all plastic card printers connected to, to the USB port. Now ignore that what it means is parallel port. Okay, so that's what it really means. So all I'm going to do now is on the printer itself is I'm going to turn it on okay so at the side I can just bring this around here 
So there's the printer on the top of the computer and just between where the two cords plug in there's a switch there to turn it on. So just turn it on and you'll see on the screen at the top it says ready which obviously means it's ready to go and now I just need to click OK on the dialog box. So let's continue. Click OK and now leave it for a little while for it to continue installing. Okay, now it's saying select your printer port and we're going to choose the parallel port. Okay, we have to choose that. If you choose any of the others, it's not going to work. Click next and this is the parallel port that it has scanned and found on the PC. So there should only be one and it's selected it already. So click next. Okay, and that's it. It now says that the printer driver installed successfully. We advise you to restart Windows now. So all you have to do is click Restart Windows, allow the computer to restart, and then I'll show you how to just confirm that the printer has been installed correctly. Okay, so assuming you've just restarted your PC, this is how to confirm that the printer driver has been installed correctly. So click on the start menu down the bottom left and then click on printers and faxes. You may not be able to see it, but there is um, there's a little um, me a menu option here called printers and faxes. If you don't see that, you can go to control panel and then you can find it from there. But click on printers and faxes and there is a little printer icon called Javelin J310 card printer. So that is the one. That's how you know that it has been installed correctly. And what you want to do, um, in this case, I'm going to make it the default printer. So I'm going to click, I'm going to right click on it and choose the option set as default printer. And the, the way you know that's been done is it has a little uh, white tick in a black circle just above it. So now you know that that has been installed correctly. What you can do now is open the folder that was on the CD or you can just open the folder on the CD and uh, what I'm going to do now is click on the folder called card template examples you don't have to do this if, if you already have your own software you can just go ahead and use the printer I mean it's actually set up that's it now it's all done but I'm just going to show you that there are four examples inside this folder one is a JPEG picture the other is a PNG picture. Um, there is a PSD, which is a Photoshop editable file, which has layers. So if you have Photoshop, you can double click on that and open that, that uh, file up. And then you can play around with the example image yourself. Or there is a PDF file. So let's try with the PDF. I'm going to double click the PDF. Obviously, this will only open up if you have a PDF viewer. I'm just going to shrink the image a little, a little bit so that you can see it on the screen. So this is a sample, an example that we're going to use. And now from the menu, I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to come down to Page Setup. And it has already selected the Javelin card printer, but if it hadn't, I would click this drop-down box and choose it from there. And the paper size is automatically selected to card, so it knows the, it knows the exact size to print this out at. Okay, so there's nothing else you need to change here. Just make make sure that the printer is set to the Javelin 310 card printer and the paper size is card. Okay, click OK and now it's ready to print. And just to let you know that all four of these examples are perfectly sized. They're already perfectly sized to fit a standard um, PVC CR80 card. Okay, so it should print out perfectly. So now I go to File and Print. So here's the, uh, the little print box. And 
as long as it looks like the card is filling the area, which it is right, right down here, then we should be ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK, but before I do that, I need to load a card into the card printer, which I'll show you how to do just before I click OK. Okay, so the card printer, of course, is already on because we turned it on during the installation of the drivers. And I'm just going to turn it round very carefully. I'm just going to turn it round so I can get to the back of it to show you where to load cards. As you can see at the back here, there's a hopper which you can pull down and that weight just drops down into the back and then you would take a stack of cards like this and you would load them um, towards the machine. You don't load them back here, you load them there towards the machine and then as you tip this up the weight drops forward on top like that to put some weight down, some pressure on the cards to make sure that the roller can take the bottom card first with, um, with the pressure pushing down to take the next card as that card gets fed through. But in this case I'm only going to load the one card, so let's take this back out, take the load of cards out, make sure that that's closed. This is how to load one single card. So you take your card and there's a little flap here which you can push like a letterbox. See that? And you push that card in through that flap, make sure it's, um, it's laying down at the bottom, and then when it begins to bite, when it begins to stop, when it hits the roller, just push it forward a bit until your finger reaches that, there's, there's a little piece of plastic just below the card there, can you hear that? Yeah, when the card gets in line with that, the card is, is pushed in sufficiently so it's ready to print. So just to show you that again, you just push the card in, and then it just begins to bite with the roller and then just push it forwards a bit, it's ready to print. Simple as that. So now I'm going to turn it round. And this is where the card will come out when it's finished printing. So all I'm going to do now, just adjust so you can see everything. I'm just going to click OK and it should send the image to the printer and let's see how it comes out. So let's click OK. Okay, so on the printer itself up here it says print in yellow. Now it says print in magenta. Now it says print in cyan. Now it says print in varnish. So I'll catch the card when it comes out. There we go. It's printed the card. I'll just bring that up here for you. And there's the example card printed. Okay, so obviously I'm just to bring that close so you can see the quality of a, of a photo because that's an actual photograph and you see how good that is. Yeah, the colors don't quite look as good on the card as they do on the screen um, but that's purely because the um, it's just an example with some very very poorly selected colors you know so you would just make your your image of your card whether it's a loyalty card a gift card or an ID card you just make it as vibrant on the screen as possible then that will make sure that when it prints out it prints out looking really nice okay so as you can see the quality of the printout there's no gaps in it. It isn't like one of these dodgy eBay printers where they're selling it because it doesn't print out right. This prints out perfectly, as you can see. Okay, and as you can see there, it took the card as well per perfectly. One thing I'll do next is I'll show you how to load multiple cards and how it takes those cards. It can be a bit temperamental when you load multiple cards, like I said in the description, it's perfect for doing one card at a time. You won't get any problems at all. But just to show you, let's just turn it around again. Drop that down. I'm going to put in a stack of cards. Like that. And then 
flip it up, turn it back round. Now I'll send the same print job to the ID card printer and see if it will take a card. Yeah, it has. It says print in yellow and now print in magenta. I'll just bring this up so you can see this. Okay, but bear in mind it can be a bit dodgy sometimes when you use multiple cards. There's the next card. Uh, when you feed it one card at a time it's perfect. With multiple cards it can sometimes um, miss, uh, miss feed and then you have to push the card through yourself. But it works perfectly. The quality is really good. You know, if you're looking for an ID card printer, a loyalty card printer, a gift card printer, um, this would be a fantastic choice. The ribbons are only $29.99. The cards are incredibly cheap. You can get about 100 of these blank cards for about a tenner. It's, um, it's perfectly good. It's perfectly great. And also, don't forget that I include the power cable, the parallel port cable. You get the examples that you can play with. You get the manual on the CD with the quick start guide. You get the drivers and you get a printed version of the manual and the quick start guide and everything on a CD-ROM included. So, any questions, send me a message through eBay and uh, thanks for watching.